this is uh, just a short video on uh, the modifications I've done to my uh, Draper 6x4 bandsaw. Uh, it's currently just cutting through a piece of uh, 3 inch brass round bar for a flywheel for an engine that I'm making. But I thought while it was doing its thing I thought I'd show you these modifications I've, I've done. Uh, the first modification I did was uh, the to extend the jaws slightly by using these two pieces of aluminium and they're just uh, cut to the height of the uh, existing vise and bolted on with a, a couple of uh, M6 cap screws both sides and that allows if I'm you know if I want to cut some shorter stock I can I can put the shorter stock in the vise and still cut it and uh, what also allows me to do that is this um, camping screw, jack screw. Uh, it's just a nailed handle that I made out of aluminium and a piece of uh, M10 threaded bar loctited into the handle. That piece there is just a packing piece at the moment. It's just like a two inch piece of scrap aluminium because the bar isn't quite long enough to, to suit the three inch bar that I'm cutting. But that just allows the, uh, you know, to, so you can set the gap at the back as though that stock was longer. And it allows you to be able to clamp smaller pieces in the vise without it, without it trying to cock over as, as the clamp's tightened up. Uh, the other modification I've done is this extended plate. And uh, that was a bit trippy because uh, the actual angle of the casting means you can't just use like a 90 degree piece so this is uh, two two pieces of 10 millimeter thick steel off cut and uh, the way I did it to set it up was um, I, I clamped a piece of steel in the vise clamped this up to that and then I got uh, the other piece of steel and I sort of I used the uh, grinder to put a slight angle on it so that it would sit up properly against it and I clamped it all up I drilled a couple of holes through the casting M8 holes uh, sorry 8 mil holes and tapped, tapped them to M8 6.8 mil holes tapped to M8 and I bolted that on there and while it was in situ I actually uh, just did a few tap welds underneath and then I could take it off and weld it up properly Although it's a bit untidy, I'm, I'm not the best welder in the world, but it, uh, it serves its purpose. So that now gives me the angle, although I did have to use a tiny piece of shim to get that exactly flat. But that now, you can use that if you need to cut something which is a bit of an awkward size, you can actually put it on there and uh, use a clamp to be able to clamp it to the plate, so you can cut it whatever angle you want. Uh, the other modifications I've done, uh, well, I've, uh, not really modifications, but a couple of magnets are always useful. Put your uh, Allen screws, Allen keys on there, or your spanners, which I've put somewhere else actually. Normally my spanners are sat on there, the spanners to set this up. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've got this tray, which is basically, a, well, it's just a, a, a loaf tray from the kitchen. Pinched it out of the pantry, which hasn't noticed yet. And uh, just a couple of pieces of timber. Well, I built the stand. The stand didn't, uh, the saw didn't come with the stand, so I built the stand. And then just a couple of pieces of timber under there, which just sort of hold that in place. And that's just to catch the uh, swarf. At the minute, there's another little box in there catching the brass, because I like to keep my brass. Uh, the other modification I've done, it's going to be a bit difficult to see because the saw's right down. But I also made a extend the shaft out of some uh, one inch hex bar uh, that, and that was just to bring the handle out because the handle was originally about there and it, it, it did foul the top at uh, the bottom of the uh, you know of the saw as it came down so I just extended that out so it was easier to use I need to modify that I'm not happy with that I'm going to make a little stud sticking out with a ready bar to allow it to stop in a better position but actually it works quite well uh, so the, the bandsaw is a great little bandsaw. I mean, I wouldn't want to have to cut that with a hacksaw, would you? It took a bit of setting up uh, to get these to 
get the, I've replaced the bearings actually. I bought some new bearings, certainly for the top two. I haven't replaced the back two yet because they're they're still okay. But you know they're, they're on their way out. But I mean I bought four bearings for about ten quid, so it didn't cost much, and uh, that runs much better. But it does take quite a bit of setting up to make sure that you get it both square in that direction and square in that direction. But a little bit of fiddling and poking around, and you actually you know you get there use the use your square tools against the, the, the bed of the uh, saw and you can you can kind of get a fairly good fairly close cut and this is cutting to within sort of about 15 thousand of an inch which uh, is absolutely perfect really oh, and it's just finished and as you can see it shuts off quite nicely as it pops down and uh, and there's a nice piece of three inch brass just cut that's taken about 25 minutes actually to go through I have bought also a new brand new blade from uh, tough saws uh, recommended by Tom Howe and that's a Starrett um, I think it's a 12 to 14 I can't quite remember but it's it's a good it's a good old blade and well as you can see it leaves a beautiful finish the only other thing I have done is uh, when you want to use the bandsaw in the vertical mode there's a there's just that tiny little sort of platform there which isn't really much help but I've made myself if I can get it off with one hand let me just change hands I'll put it on these couple of uh, I hadn't put these boxes there, it would be a bit easier. But there you can see, just flip that over. And there you can see I've built uh, a larger platform, which uh, you just have to take these screws out and you can replace that then onto there. And that sits on the top there. And it's a, a nice bigger, bigger platform, so it just gives you a bit more, well, a bit more working space really. So that's another useful addition. So, well, you can see the see the handle better now. Anyway, you probably saw that a second ago while I was struggling to get that plate off. It's it's not easy with one hand, is it? So there you have it. Superb little bandsaw. I don't I don't have the tension of the, well I have the tension of the spring on fairly high tension. I don't like to. Uh, rush through a cut and obviously that preserves the blade for a bit longer as well so uh, there you have it the modifications I've made to my bandsaw